What's going on, my peoples? We are here again. We are definitely here again. Um, about to go on a um, little errand real quick. Shout out to everybody out there. Um, this video, I'm dropping um, food service, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This video is for all the new people that's coming out in food service, man. Um, shout out to y'all. Welcome. Um, good luck. You know, and all of that. No matter what company you work for. You know what I mean? Now, one thing I want to talk about, man, is um, when you come into food service, man, it's going to be kind of weird. Like, when I say weird, it's because the first... The first set of people that's going to be hating on you Next right. is actually going to be your um, your co-workers, man. The people that you work with. And and that's going to be so weird. I'm, and you're going to notice it, man. I'm not really going to get into that. You're definitely going to notice it. Toll booth ahead and then you know? keep left. And... So, one of the first reasons you're going to see, one of the first things that you're going to see, you're going to see the veteran guys, they're going to talk so bad about the company that you're going to think that there's something wrong with the company that you're working with, you know? You're going to bump into guys that you're going to ask them, hey, man, um, how's the job? How do you like it? Oh, man, I hate working here, man. Uh, I can't believe I still work here, you know? It sucks. Then you ask them this one question, how long you been here? You start hearing guys say five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. You get what I'm saying? So now you got to ask yourself, damn, if they hate the company, why are they still with the company? You get what I'm saying? So your common sense has got to start kicking in when it comes to stuff like that, right? Now past that now you do your orientation and then you go into training okay now this is a very 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 important part very important process of food service is your training you know what i mean training can break break make or break you because there are some guys out there that's training people that do not need to train i'm just being honest with you you feel me they're um they don't take safety serious they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know how to work fast and efficient. You know what I mean? They just training guys the wrong way. They talking bad about the company. I know I know companies out there, they're not perfect, but at the end of the day, they didn't have to hire you. So make sure that when you get into food service and you're getting training, make sure the guys are actually showing you your job and not just using you as a helper. Because some guys take it the wrong way whenever they get a trainee. They use those guys as a helper. You know what I mean? You pushing a hand truck and following behind somebody is not training. That is not training. That's just you being a helper. You know what I mean? So make sure if he do something in the scanner slash computer, make sure you look what's going on. Whenever you got to give the customer credit, make sure you're paying attention. Um, you know, like whatever, he, whatever you see him doing with the scanner, make sure you pay attention. Make sure he actually give you the scanner to actually use it to scan the cases. Um, make sure you pretend like, let me tell you the key part of training, right? Pretend as if you're working by yourself and they're just there to guide you if anything goes wrong. Okay. If you're just like pushing hand trucks behind whoever's training you. They're setting you up for failure. You get know what I'm saying? And I strongly, when I'm training somebody, I try to avoid doing that. When I'm training somebody, I try to take a step back and make it seem like they're running the route. I'm just there to assist them if anything goes wrong. And I just, I just talk, I just pretty much like talk the whole thing through, you know? But some guys, they just don't know how to train. You know what I'm saying? So after that, you get trained, you go out on your own, 
Now, one of the first things that you're going to happen is going to happen when you go out on your own is you're going to be overwhelmed with the work because you're going to realize that it's a big difference when you're working by yourself and there's nobody there to, like, help you. There's nobody there to guide you. You know what I'm saying? So you might get overwhelmed. Um, one of the advice that I can give you, just calm down, take a deep breath. You can only do one stop at a time. So if you get 10 stops, don't look at the 10th stop. Look at the first stop. You know what I mean? Go to the first stop, do the first stop, then go to the second stop, do the second stop. Do one stop at a time. Don't worry about the whole route. Worry about getting one stop done. You get one stop done, go to the next stop. Get that stop done, go to the next stop. Get that stop done. You know what I mean? You want to be organized when you work in that trailer. You can be organized and you can run behind and you can end up catching up on time because the more you organize your trailer and the better you work neat and the more efficient you become as a food first food service driver is the better you're going to be as a food service driver. Try to be as neat as possible. If you touch it, if you're breaking down a pallet and you start touching a couple cases, like just don't like move like let's just say you're touching a pallet right and that particular pallet have let's just say you're touching a cooler pallet that particular pallet has six stops on it right and you're looking for stop number one don't just grab number six case that's on top and just throw it on top of um, anything because you're looking for stop number one no as soon as you touch it Try to organize it on a pallet with the other number sixes and just try to keep everything aligned by the same. Or if you don't have space to put on another pallet, you you know, you um, try to line it up as neat as you could on that particular pallet. Now, most companies, they don't want you putting stuff on the trailer floor. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? It's up to the company that you work for and their rules and regulations. You know what I'm saying? But just be neat. The more neat you are, the more efficient your day is going to become. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you're out there training with somebody that have a lift gate and you're at a company that have both lift gates and ramps, you want to, you're going to want that person that's training you to pull out that ramp at least three to four times for the week. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be on that lift gate and you're gonna think that everything's all nice and lovely because you're working on a lift gate. I got news for you. Once you're out of training, you're not getting that lift gate. You're probably not gonna see that puppy for another year. So make sure you get training on the ramp because if that's something that you never ever did before, it's gonna be overwhelming. You know what I mean? And you're just gonna set yourself up for failure. So that's one thing I do when I train people. I make sure that I pull out my ramp so that they get a feel for running down on the ramp or walking down on the ramp uh, however you want to come down on the ramp you know because it is like overwhelming you know what I'm saying make sure when you're out there in training make sure you know the um, rules and regulations and the procedures of dealing with a key drop you get what I'm saying because key drops are very important you got to know that you got to leave the freezer stuff in the freezer if you got to pick it up and put it in there, you just can't leave stuff outside. And that goes for the cooler, you know? You gotta know where everything goes. You gotta leave the place just like how you saw the place. Put everything back together. And you just gotta treat, you gotta treat a key drop like the way it should be treated, you know what I mean? When you're in training, just make sure that you you get proper training. That's all. That's all I can really say about that you know what I mean a lot of people just don't know how to train you know what I mean now one of the things about food service you come you get a job one of the big things that you're going to realize is that you're going to realize that you're going to be bouncing all over the world man all over town you're going to be working everywhere you're going to be working east west north south you're not going to have a route you are not going to have a route right away and it's going to be tough you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be stressed out. You're going to, you're going to, sometimes you're going to feel like you want to quit. You know what I mean? But don't quit because everybody had to go through that process. You know, you're going to see guys with routes. You're going to want that routes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hear guys talking about money. 
and the money that guys are talking about, you're not probably not going to be able to make that money right away. But if you have patience, if you stick it out, if you stick it through, you're going to get that money one day. You know what I mean? You got to understand when you come in food service, you're on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You are on the bottom. You are. You got to try to work your way to the top. Most jobs go by seniority and you have to respect the seniority. If you come into the game and you just have respect for seniority, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get it. You're going to be all right. But if you come in the game and you don't have no respect for seniority, then you're going to have a miserable time in food service. Because the senior guy is going to get treated better than you. And that's just how it is. You know what I mean? In food service, nobody gets treated the same. Understand that. Understand that there's no two paychecks that's going to look the same. There's no two paychecks that's going to be the same. And those are just some things that if you come in, if you understand that, if you do what you got to do, you're going to be all right. You're going to make it. You are definitely going to make it. But if you come in with an attitude, talking about you want the best route right away, how do you think the senior guys is going to feel about that? Like, do you think that's, that's, that's fair? You get what I'm saying? So you got to come in food service, man, with the understanding that, you know what I mean? Everything is a process. You know what I mean? Everything takes time. You know? When you come into this game, man, you got to understand that this job is all about working, man. You got to get down to work. It's not an easy job. You know what I mean? It's definitely not an easy job. Um, not everybody can do it because not everybody want to do it. You know, but what's going to separate you is just come in the game and just make yourself available. How do you make yourself available? Just um, have an open schedule, um, get your doubles just in case they need you to run doubles or whatever. And um, don't be scared to like go out of town if they need you to go out of town or if they call you in on the weekends, on a Saturday, just make yourself available. You know what I mean? Like, if you come in the game and they ask you to work on a Saturday and um, they're not asking no veteran guys, that's because we put in our time. You know what I mean? We put our time in. You got to, and that goes back to what I say, you got to respect seniority in this game. You know what I mean? And a big way you can help yourself when you um, come into food service, when you're in training, um, if you're with a good trainer, just don't get offended when he, um, just have an open mind when you're um, in training. Don't get offended by little things because I know one thing that's hard for guys to do is like taking orders from another guy. He's not trying to boss you around or nothing. He's just trying to help you to, to get to where he's at. They're really trying to help. You know what I mean? And you might come in this game and um, a few months might go by and you might realize that you work for some very rude people. You might be working with a supervisor or two that you don't like. You got to understand you are working for big companies. You know what I mean? All these companies are big. Cisco, U.S. Food, PFG, blah, 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 you name it. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand this. These companies are bigger than any one people, any managers, any salesmen, any drivers, anybody. These companies are bigger. And if you don't know what I mean when I say that, I don't know what else to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is that don't let nobody disrespect you or treat you as if you are nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And we're supposed to treat each other with respect. So if you have, if you're in this game and you have a manager or you have a coworker, or you have a salesperson that's verbally abusing you, you know what I'm saying? You have to like nip that in the butt. You know what I'm saying? You got to take it to HR. You know what I mean? If HR don't want to take care of it, you got other places you can take care of it. You know what I mean? Just you. Just don't try to take care of it on your own. You might get yourself in trouble, might get yourself arrested. 
but like let people know that you, you you're all about respect you give respect you need to get respect you know what i'm saying because sometimes in this game people just get out of hand especially the customers you know what i'm saying you have to learn how to kind of like mm, uh, it's not necessarily ignoring the customers but like they're gonna say some things to you that's really gonna rub you the wrong way and I, you know what? It, at the end of the day, it's all about customer service. But that being said, you, you can't let people walk over you. You know what I mean? You have to stand your ground. You know what I mean? So one important thing that I see in food service, man, is that drivers, um, they're not doing their pre and post trip, man. And, and that's going that, that's that's something that, that you should know as a truck driver do your pre-trip do your post trip now the other day i went out getting ready to go on my route i mean it's a good thing that i come to work early and i do doing my own um, pre-trip and my trailer tires is flat so i'm saying to myself man like okay couldn't the driver catch this on a post trip or couldn't a yard guy catch us while they were moving a damn truck around apparently nobody caught it and that's why you do a pre-trip to catch these things you can't put that in the hands of other guys to to take care of that for you because they won't get it done that's just how people are you know what i'm saying so do your pre and post trip you know what i mean and you'll be all right now another thing i'm gonna I'm i'm gonna give you a little hint right here is um Whenever you get up in this game, one thing that you want to do, right? You want to come to work early. You want to come to work early. Because one thing that I know about food service is that things can go wrong. The warehouse can um, take too long to load your truck. Um... They can take too long to roll your truck. As I say, you could you could do a pre-trip in the morning and you can find out that your reefer on your trailer unit is not working. So that's going to give you time to switch out the trailer. It's so much that can go wrong in this business, man. You just got to know it. You just got to nip it in the butt. You have to take care of it. You get what I'm saying? So... It, it, it can be a good career. You can make a lot of money in food service. You can really make a lot of money in food service. This is not your typical trucking job. This might be one of the best local paying job there is. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't talk about food service enough. But I'm here to tell you, man, you can definitely make it in this game. You know what I'm saying? Some of these things you just got to know. You know what I mean? Like, it's not easy, man. Just come in, work hard at it, um, do what you got to do, and everything's going to be all right. Now, in closing, it's going to be a lot of things that I left out because I got to take care of something right quick, right? It's going to be a lot of things that I left out. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. Leave a comment, and I'll definitely get back with you you know what i mean and um thumbs up whatever um like share subscribe um if there's if there's anybody man make sure y'all um subscribe to this channel while i try to grow this channel man i appreciate everybody for watching um y'all be easy out there